There are a variety of undercuts, but the Humboldt is the safest and should be used in most situations. As the tree begins to fall, the square butt closes against the sloping face of the bottom cut, pushing the tree away from the stump. As the faller finishes his undercut, he notices that the cuts are not going to meet. Instead of chasing the cut and creating a potentially dangerous situation, he simply knocks the undercut out with his axe and cleans up the cut. The faller kneels to make his back cut. This allows him to work with a straight back and have an easier view of the canopy to check for overhead hazards. Notice that the faller sets his chain break whenever moving away from the saw. Palm a wedge as soon as possible. When the tree starts to fall, move away along your escape route and take cover. The procedure for falling a tree involves two essential cuts, the undercut and the back cut. There are a variety of undercuts. The Humboldt cut used in this situation utilizes more of the timber with less wood wasted from the stem. Use the sight line on the saw to guide the construction of your cuts and to place the tree where you want it to fall.
If the undercut is heavy, insert a wedge to relieve its weight on the bar. Check to ensure the bottom cut will meet the top cut. If the cuts look like they won't meet, stop and knock out the undercut with your axe head. Don't chase the undercut. Check the undercut to make sure it's properly cleaned out. This example shows a properly cleaned out undercut. The undercut is constructed to one-third the diameter of the tree. The opening should be one-half the depth of the undercut. The back cut should be constructed three-quarters to one inch above the undercut. Sight through the undercut to line up the back cut. Then, scribe around the tree. Check to ensure there is enough holding wood. Always check from the back side of the tree. Never move to the front of the tree after you have started the back cut. Palm a wedge. Ensure that adequate space remains between the chain and wedge. Continue to use the sight lines to finish the back cut. As the tree falls, the square butt created by a Humboldt pushes against the sloping face of the undercut. This lessens the possibility of the tree kicking back. The Humboldt undercut can be constructed in two ways. In this example, the faller is putting in his bottom cut first.
wait for the tree and canopy to settle. Then go back and remove any whiskers from the stump or butt. Cut away from yourself with the back of the bar. This prevents sawdust from flying back at you. The conventional undercut is often used in situations where a lower stump height is important or you need to overcome a falling difficulty. Use the sight lines on the saw to guide the construction of the cut and the direction of the fall. Check the undercut to make sure it's properly cleaned out. The faller has not palmed a wedge because the tree has a pronounced lean. The undercut is constructed to one-third the diameter of the tree. The opening should be one-half the depth of the undercut. The conventional back cut is a minimum of two inches above the undercut, creating a higher step or hinge so the butt of the tree doesn't slide back. In this situation, the faller has not palmed a wedge because the tree has a pronounced lean. The Swanson undercut is a specialty cut used to fall timber on steep slopes. This cut should be used only on large green trees with small crowns. Remove excess bark before beginning your cuts. The Swanson has a larger, steeper bottom cut. This allows the butt of the tree to slide down off the stump and hit the ground first. This reduces the potential for the butt to whip up and the tree to roll. The undercut is constructed to one-third the diameter of the tree. The opening should be equal to the depth of the undercut. The back cut should be constructed three-quarters to one inch above the undercut. 
An alternative method for constructing a Swanson is to make a Humboldt cut, then make an extra cut to increase the size of the opening. The opening should now equal the depth of the undercut. Sight through the undercut to line up the back cut. Check to ensure there is enough holding wood. Always check from the back side of the tree. Never move to the front of the tree after you have started the back cut. Palm a wedge. Continue to use the sight lines to finish the back cut. Notice how the tree slides off the stump and the butt hits the ground first. The pie cut is also known as the split the difference cut or bird's mouth cut. This specialty undercut is used to manage falling difficulties such as frozen wood and heavy leaners with brittle wood. The pie undercut has a wider opening and a higher back cut. This reduces the risk of a barber chair on frozen wood. The undercut is constructed to one-third the diameter of the tree. The opening should be equal to the depth of the undercut. The back cut is a minimum of two inches above the undercut, creating a higher step or hinge so the butt of the tree doesn't slide back. 